You cough it all up. Quickly now. No. But I want you to have it.
Hey! Sorry to cut to the chase, but this is important. I received an anonymous letter the other day, challenging me to a duel. In times like these, I doubt it'll be a fair fight. But if it's a trap, it's not a very good one, is it? Anyway, I need to know who I'm dealing with. Takasugi was going to help me. But the Shogunate is watching us. The Choshu can't afford to be associated with any funny business. Which brings me to my request. Will you come with me? It's a lot to ask, I know, but please, I could really use your help. Come to think of it, you probably haven't seen it at all. I wasn't exactly in peak fighting condition when we first sparred. Despite appearances, I'm not too bad with a sword, you know? I don't intend to be outshined by you. The letter specifies a time and place. We'll leave when it's time. So, are you with me? Good. Right, let's go. To be honest, I wasn't expecting you to come. After all, it has nothing to do with the samurai you're chasing. But I'm sure you have your own reasons. Over here! Get him! Kill him! Take a A 
that fellow over there looks the part. Are you ready? So you can. No need for fear. Let me fight. Well fought, though I expected nothing less from one so brazen as to rebel against the Shogunate. This won't be the last time we meet, I am sure. By the sound of it, you've come here just to take the measure of me. Well, what would you do with him? I see. I happen to agree with you. You're soft, Katsura. Just like they say. All eyes are on the Choshu now. And I don't just speak of the Shogunate. If we can end this peacefully, then we must. But the way he wielded his sword... Could he be from Sansama? And with that level of skill, why he must be... No. I shouldn't make assumptions. Well, with you as our ally, I know we can handle anything. Though I should admit, for a moment there, I wondered if you'd betray me. Then I'm glad to hear it. I suppose I should make this the last time I ever doubt you again. Thank you.
Ah, it's you. You again. Tell me, why were you with the outsiders at Kanagawa Post? The one who showed up at the U.S. Consulate. Ah, so that's why you are hand in glove with Harris. I accept that you have your own motivations, so I won't pry any further. But, I can't overlook the fact that you worked as an outsider's stooge. If you want our trust, you'll have to earn it. The official's just ahead. As you showed up, I'm guessing you'll help me to deliver justice, right? Good. Then we depart at once. I'll fill you in on the way. Follow me. Our destination is the official's residence. He's a corrupt man who's grown fat by taking bribes from foreigners. He's especially close to the British and is constantly surrounded by a detail of their soldiers. The man's rotten to the core. And Japan will rock too if his kind are allowed to remain in power. The mere sight of him will awaken you to the righteousness of our cause. know when I see him.
Once they get this message, the other officials will think twice before taking any donations under the table. We've done a service to the people. Good work. You're prepared to risk life and limb for the sake of the Japanese people. Now that I've seen that, I can trust you. As of this moment, we are comrades in arms, in the truest sense. From now on, I'm willing to put my life on the line for you. I anticipate great things for us.
on the hunt for someone. The man who slew my brother and stole the family armor. My brother left behind a son. The boy is like a son to me. And I want him to have revenge, no matter what it takes. We'll take back the armor and make the killer pay with his life. Won't you lend your blade to our cause? You have my thanks. Our first objective is the armor, the pieces of which have been scattered among our man's lackeys. I've tasked my nephew with recovering one of them, and I want you to aid him. Once we have all of the armor, we'll go after the man at his residence.
You? I don't know what to say. Thanks to him, I was able to recover the armor. I'll let him know right away.
We've recovered the armor. All that remains is to cut down our man. That task falls to you, and you alone, my boy. I will not be there. You're the head of the family, not me. As your father's successor, honor demands you avenge him with your own hands. Wait, uncle. Are you saying you won't come too? I had assumed that you'd be at my side. It's precisely as our friend says. If you would be a samurai, then do what you must. Given the importance of the occasion, let's have them bear witness to the deed. And if it comes to it, help you as well. Understood, uncle. And if you could humor me for one more request, please allow me to fight in this armor. It would feel as though father is with me, lending me strength. this armor to weigh so much but if it's the weight of familial duty I'm sure I can bear it Yes, 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 yes. 
Prepare to die. Thanks to you, I was able to settle an old score. I'm so grateful. If it's acceptable, I'd like to make another request. This armor I now carry is still too big for me. Will you please look after it until I am finally ready to wear it? <laughs> 